I think uh, last time I said something like, I, I wasn't really sure with how should I present myself? Should I mm. put my face on these thumbnails or not? And my idea really finalized, I think, because I, I thought like if I put my face on a video, it should have some impression or it should do something. Mm. It shouldn't be just a face mm. <laughs> because that's that's telling nothing, right? Mm. It's probably presenting yourself, but that doesn't add any value. It doesn't create an emotion. It doesn't create any expectation or something like this. So it always should generate an expectation. Mm. Um, and I think you also, you are doing very well with your thumbnails because you are experimenting a lot with uh, um, how you present yourself uh, with some, um, I think you're doing so, some memes or some... some. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of trying out the like, so, more meme thumbnails now. Not, yeah, as, not going I as far as that, some other people, but... Um... I think that works very, very well for, for your stuff and for the channel. Okay. I think people are liking this. Here's one. Um... <laughs> and that's um yeah yeah that is cool yeah <laughs> you are very creative you are probably more creative than i am uh, this just happens when i get very sleepy i'm like what that when i'm, when I'm more, like wide awake i have this like part of my brain that's like no that's really dumb when i get sleepy i'm like no that that don't ignore that part of your brain just keep doing dumb things and that's when yeah, the, the weirdest thumbnails like come this. from yeah, but this is also the reason why I said at the beginning your channel is both educational and entertainment. This entertainment part comes exactly from these things. And that's what people are liking. I think you you probably have a lot of people in your audience watching your YouTube channel and watching this every day. And uh, hey, what is this new thumbnail going to look like? I definitely do have people that definitely. have been mentioning that. Uh, yeah, and you you can see there's definitely a lot of value in producing this because... I think that's uh, the most important part because you're exactly delivering what those people want to see. And that's mm. that's how you can how you can uh, satisfy your audience. That's very important on YouTube. And I think I I kind of try to do the same with my thumbnails as trying to uh, uh, trying to give an an impression or an expectation of um, easy tutorials. For example, mm. there's something that I like to do because people are liking those tutorials and um yeah i i thought i i also have an, another idea or had other ideas for for thumbnails uh, that's yeah i'm not going to tease it because they, they're going out in in the next weeks or so but okay. you will definitely see what i try to achieve with the thumbnails because i i want to have like a consistent way of designing them mm -hmm. but they shouldn't look all the same yeah right and I mean, you have a template, right? Yeah, that's one of my problems. But... I, a lot of my thumbnails do end up, while I am doing different things in all of them, I feel like a lot of them do end up looking very similar. Maybe that's, that's right, just yeah. me, because I make so many of them, but... I, I don't know if this is necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it also could be an advantage. Mm. I, I don't really know how people would react if you change them a little bit. Uh, that is probably the thing that I would say, well... It's worth experimenting. Mm. Maybe just change one thumbnail completely and see how people are reacting to that. Mm. And if they say, oh, I liked your other thumbnails more, then you can switch it back. That's not a problem. But I, I kind of like to try out new things. Um, that's what I do. Um, I, I don't want to say you should do it. I mean, <laughs> you probably no, know I, better I than I. I try stuff out as well. Um, like, um... I just I tend to do it at a much slower pace than you do, where you will just mm. completely uproot your existing thumbnail style and go with something completely different. That is, like you that went, is me, yeah. You went from okay, we're gonna, we're gonna I'm just gonna show them on the screen right you now. You can take so. a look, yeah. It, it's it's crazy. I also okay. I didn't change a single thumbnail uh, afterwards, so yeah. So I let, just leave them like they are. <laughs> so we have the ones with the blue background. Then after that, That's the it, first one. Yeah. Mm, then after that, you just had. Basically making the exact same face in every single thumbnail and maybe pointing yeah. at something sometimes. Then we yeah. went to the other, oh, the colored yes. border ones. I actually did like those ones. Those actually were pretty cool. Yeah. And now it's the very, uh, the very poppy blue and I do like the blue and purple. So that that is one thing you do have going for you where you actually yeah. do have like a consistent color scheme. So even though you don't really have a template, it's still sort of 
I guess, fits in with it's, the general theme of your channel? Yeah. I think that is very important because that is how I want to look my background. So, um, so you have the colors in the background as well. Mm. And I thought, well, if people are watching a video... So let's let's do an experiment. You, you're making a very professional thumbnail like most tutorial videos do on YouTube. Like you have these... Um, sometimes I do tutorials about uh, Docker or uh, whatever. Yeah, professional software IT businesses use, for example. And I do a tutorial video. We have these professional thumbnails yeah, mm. um, that look like a presentation. If I make the same thumbnail like a presentation professional look, uh, look the people are clicking on this video and see this, a gaming background. Mm -hmm. They see what, what, what is that? Mm. There, there is, there's a difference in what people are expecting and getting. And I thought my thumbnails should always um, provide the same expectation that the video is uh, going yeah. to be, right? So I don't want to be the professional IT guy who is wearing a suit uh, or... Uh, and presenting something, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not who I am. Yeah, I am this guy uh, right now, right? Uh, with sometimes I play computer games. I I like this RGB background, wearing hoodies and this stuff, right? And I'm doing IT stuff. That's what I uh, who I am, and I want to represent this in the thumbnails as well. Mm -hmm. And this is what I try. So having a consistent color scheme and giving the people what they what they expect uh, when they click on this video. I don't know if this is a good idea, as, as always. It may change in two months. My thumbnails are looking completely different. I don't know. Mm. Because I really, I get very fast excited about something. But um, I also get bored of something very right. fast. So that may change, right? I'm, I'm, I'm always changing. And uh, I, that's just who I am.